Hey Virgos, it's with a general reading for the sign of Virgos. So this reading could resonate with anyone who has Virgo strongly in their chart. That said, we're all different ages, we're all moving at different speeds, and we're all going through different types of experiences. We all have complicated natal charts. So um, from my perspective, it would be um, it would be erroneous to say that we're all living the same life template. Hopefully, though, um, even though this might not resonate fully with you, maybe there's something here that can help you in your way. And it begins now. Let's go ahead and get into the Virgo energy here. What is in the current energy of this group of Virgo people? We have the judgment energy flipping over very strongly, very strongly here. I'm tempted to put it out, but um, I kind of have, I have to be careful about, I have a system that I go with. So um, there's something here happening or something that's happened. Page of Cups flipping over. New inspiration, new introduction, new love, something here. Let's see here for what's in the current energy for this group of Nine of Cups starting to build, starting to build. Nine of Cups here. Wish fulfillment starting to come in. Virgo energy, temperance energy. Something is beginning to build here, Virgo. Something is building. building here. Thank you. Right, what will Virgo be stepping into in the future? What will Virgo be stepping into in the future? Get myself in order here, Virgo. I'm in your energy, so I have to be very precise. It makes me feel better. Because there's these two cards that are, we don't know what they are. What's, what's here? We don't, I don't know. All right. What will Virgo be stepping into in the near future, in the next immediate future, the next seven to 10 days, two, three weeks, whatever it is for you. It would be arrogant of me to put a time frame on this. This is a message for you from spirit. But I'm asking for the next immediate incoming energy. The next immediate three of wands making itself be seen. Next immediate incoming energy. Woo. Gotta breathe. What's going on here? Swords in the reverse. Thank goodness. Is the weight over? Is that what it is? Sure was a weight too. I felt like I shuffled forever. Page of Swords. There's a surprise. <laughs> I can see it, but you can't. It came in so fast. I think that was done on purpose. <laughs> okay. What's the guidance? Guidance for Virgo. Guidance, please. Whew. Guidance for Virgo. There we go. 
Okay. So all this time they've been giving, letting you see this wish coming true. Or there's something here that's, uh, there's something here, this wish fulfillment that you're starting to see it either come in, you're starting to see it happening, or you're starting to see a new perspective on what this wish fulfillment is. What brings joy and happiness and love into your life? Maybe truly here starting to realize what it is for you. Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Eights. Seeing how to attain it and working to get it. Eight, nine. This is seeing things from a different perspective. And you're coming out of a period of a thaw. So you're going to be able to start moving now because there, the ice is gone. You're warming up. The situation is warming up. The sun is coming up. The new day dawns. And with the new day comes a fresh perspective or some kind of enlightenment here with a hanged man. And you had to wait for that day. There's some work to be done and you're doing it. You're staying focused on bringing, there's something here that you're actually doing. You're actually doing something with your hands, with your time, with your focus. Could be something that you're working on for your work or your career. It's something that you are maybe just beginning. You're maybe just beginning here, but you know this is going to be abundant and you know this is your path. You know this is your lane. Eights, there's something here that you're working to move away from. Somebody could have walked away from you. You could have walked away from someone or you could have left some sort of an experience where you put a lot of time and effort and love, but it, it ended up unfortunately being something that wasn't equal. It wasn't giving you anything. It was, it, it, it's like these cups all had deformities or cracks and the love just spilled right out. So this is an eight energy, the energy of endurance of, of energy of um, strong movement forward power. Eights to me are power. So if you're in this current time period, you're starting to feel new. You're, you're gaining a new perspective about what is happiness for you. What is this wish and what is it truly? This wish that you had, what truly is it? As we move closer and closer to enlightenment, our dreams and our wishes can definitely change. And that is how we transform. We must allow our dreams and our goals to flex and to adapt with our own personal growth. There's something here that you're really starting to find. It, it's really connecting in. There's a tight connection now. It's starting to really build on what brings you happiness. And you're working to bring it in. You're taking the steps to change something in your life. You could be walking away from someone, walking away from a certain type of work. And you've just started the process. So you've started this process of bringing this goal to attainment. You started the eight of pentacles. It's, it's working on it. And it, for many, for most of us, it's an energy of us just starting or starting, staying in your lane, staying focused, but having some true knowledge of the abundance that's here for you. If you stay working on this, Eight of Cups moving away from what doesn't serve you. And it's the Eight of Cups is a hard energy. Eight of Pentacles is a much easier energy. So I like how you're balancing that. You're staying focused. You know where you're going. You know why you're doing this. And you're putting the work in. Okay. Let's look and see what's here for you in the next incoming energy. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, 
four of swords in the reverse. This is when I had to shuffle for like 10 minutes before this card came out. I'm exaggerating, I know. But there's new movement forward. See these fours? Oh, thank you. That's beautiful. High Priestess. <gasps> no freaking way. Okay, you guys, seriously? I'll show you the card that I saw. This card came in upside down. I'm not upside down. It came in turned over, so I couldn't see what it was. Ace of Pentacles. And the card that I did see that flew out so fast and landed right on top of the pile, you couldn't see it, was the Ace of Pentacles. What in the world, Virgo? What is cool about this reading is we have the Four of Swords in the reverse and the Four of Cups in the upright. So we have these two fours. And so this is like the Wheel of Fortune. This is like um, the uh, click, click. It's clicking in, right? It's clicking in. Ace, there's three aces here. How can this be? This is why it took so long to shuffle. Wait for it. We have to wait for it sometimes. Sometimes we have to wait for the magic to happen. Sometimes we have to be patient and understand that it can be complicated and to work and to stay focused and make the changes we need to make in our life and allow the magic to happen behind the scenes. Work. Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Allow it to happen behind the scenes. This is a story of co-creating with your spiritual team. High Priestess, internal knowing. It gets you here. The outer you, work. Day in and day out, one foot in front of the other. Persistency, tenacity, looking at the details, staying focused, staying responsible, staying reliable, being compassionate for yourself. Being firm with, with your routines and your schedules. But victory is here, Ace of Swords. So there's some kind of message, some kind of success being landed here with Ace of Swords. And it's because of these two fragments within you, the inner High Priestess and the fragment that you're really putting to use within yourself, which is the Queen of, the Queen of Pentacles. This internal knowing, this connection with your team, with your guidance system, with your religion or your spirituality or whatever brings you strength and guidance, whatever brings you that energy of reverence, that internal knowing, the intuition, this trust, trust is different than faith. Is it not trust? It's an action word. Faith is a noun. I'm just saying, this is words that are coming out. <laughs> Trust in this energy is a verb. It's an active energy of trust. And then taking the steps in the outer world to move through the energies of change. There is some sort of message coming in or success landed or it's happening, or now is the time. Ace of Swords. The rest is over. This unwanting energy, this not having, its th this energy of the fours is done. The slow moving, no action, period of time is over. There's an Ace of Cups. And an Ace of Pentacles with an Ace of Swords. New love, new inspiration, new reality, new improved finances. New, new, new. This card in the future goes in the upright. That's what's happening. Wish fulfillment. Now, this is a lot of new energy. 
So I'm not going to guarantee this is going to happen in the next seven to 10 days. It might be in the next two months. We'll take it. We'll take it. Won't we? Won't we, Virgos? We'll take this energy any day. Bring it on. Bring it on. I'm ready. I'm ready. I got to dig, you guys. I got to dig a little deeper into this. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups, Emperor. Tell me more about the Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Damn. Manifestation. There could be an emperor type energy here. Look at the two of you. This is new love. This is new victory, new clarity, new love, new reality. I'm going there, you guys. I'm going there. If you're not interested in new love, if you're not interested in your heart, boom, bitty, boom, bitty, boom, bitty, this may not be the reading for you. Or this could be a story inside this reading that's not for you, but we also have the Ace of Pentacles here. A manifestation that you've been working on that's coming in directly. Eight of Wands. What is this? Look at you. Wow. Wowzers. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, there you are. High Priestess energy, Aries energy, Scorpio energy. I honestly, there, there's not a whole lot of words here. It's more, I'm more just kind of in shock. And the High Priestess is here, so you might feel that too. Emperor, Emperor energy, Emperor energy. Nine of Swords. <laughs> Nine of Swords. It's not funny. It's not funny, but um, this is a big story. This is a big story. This is big, Virgo. End of... Oh, end. You're at the end. You're at the end, Ten of Wands, Nine of Swords, Ten of Wands. Now, this new love may require you to change some things, to change some things, okay? Transformation. It might bring in some further kind of transformation because look what we have here with the eights, right? We have this eights here. We have these two eights. We have this nine, and then we have these two eights. Working and then walking away from something. So what this could bring is some sort of further transformation. It's pushing you forward into a 10 energy. It's this emperor here is causing this situation, whether this is a job or a, something new that inspires you. It doesn't have to be romantic love, but it's something that boom, it hits your heart. It hits your heart and your heart bursts out. It bursts open in something that is just glorious, whatever it is. All right. It's, it's causing this transformation here where you're moving from these nine and eight energies to a 10. So it's pushing you forward into an ending. So it's going to probably push you into an ending, an ending of a job, moving into a new job, an ending of one relationship, moving into another. There's not a whole lot of time in between for some reason. And that's why you're getting this nine of swords. Like, it's a windfall. It's a windfall energy. All right, let's look at, let's look now at, um, oh, this just got me scattered. 
Let's look at this Ace of Pentacles. It's coming in. Like eight, eight, eight of Wands. I'm sorry. Did I say Ace of Pentacles? Yeah, let's look at the Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Another eight energy. Three eights now. Three eights. Manifesting. It's happening. There's a new reality beginning here for you. Now, because it's an Eight of Wands, I think this new reality is probably out a little ways, out a little ways, because the Eight of Wands is telling me that it's incoming. So this new Ace of Cups happens first, the Ace of Swords happens first, and then the Ace of Cups is directly connected with the Ace of Swords. So there could be a new message, a new epiphany, a new decision about this new love. I think the new love, the new inspiration, the new boom, biddy, boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, diddy, comes before. <laughs> I just realized how silly I sound. Comes before, I don't care. This is amazing. Comes before this new reality. It comes first. It comes before. But this is not far behind. This is not far behind. Eight of Wands incoming. I love the Eight of Wands, especially when it's on top of the Ace of Pentacles. It's so exciting. Oh my gosh. It's so exciting. <sighs> let's look at, let's look at guidance. Let's look at guidance. And again, the energies are very clean. They're flowing very cleanly. I'm not having to dig so deep for meaning and information. And I'm not having to push through the dense energy in this reading. It's fast and it's quick and it's easy. These four energies that I, that are hard to move through, they're coming to an end. They're over. This moving forward now. Okay. I'm going to keep the emperor out. Keeping him out. Keeping the eight of wands out. All right. Let's look at guidance. Guidance. And then there's two of these cards I haven't seen. One, I see king of cups. King of cups. Fool. Knight of cups. Knight of Cups. Let me just sit here and look at this. <laughs> King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Knight of Cups, Pisces energy, Cancer, Cancer, Scorpio. There's a new journey. With probably some kind of event, situation, or person that is very generous, warm-hearted, very much of a doer, likes to do things, likes to make things healthy and vital and nourishing and strong emotionally in the, in the environments where he is, he or she. This is a person who takes action to bring health and wellness into the spaces around them. This person is very generous, very kind, very compassionate, lives in the emotion, new journey, offer of love. Could be slightly shy, could be a little slow in coming in, could be a little slow. Knight of Cups is sometimes a little slow, a little shy. I was not expecting this. King of Cups. It's always kind of fun. It does, this doesn't have to be a love relationship. And I'm not really talking, but for many, this is a love relationship. But I'm not really in the energies of solely romantic love. This is inspiration. This is something that just builds the heart center in such a, in such a beautiful way. And these types of readings don't always happen all the time. But when they happen, let's live in these energies. Let's allow ourselves to dream and to manifest from this reading. This is a gift now to this group of Virgos to help you manifest this in, to bring this in. Honestly, a reading like this is a beautiful gift. It fell on the floor. Now it's upside down and it's underneath my tripod. Let me see if I can move it with my feet. Bring it safely away so I don't knock the camera all over the place. And give me a second while I get this rebellious energy. Higher font. Could be Taurus as well. 
could be a new agreement or a contract that you're going to sign or a commitment that you're going to enter into here with a higher thought energy tower. Woo! Surprise! Boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, diddy. There's that funny noise again. This is just a very surprising tower. I can't. I, I'm done. Ace of Wands. I just, <laughs> passion, chemistry, new action, new excitement, new adventure. Over the top of the fool and the king of cups, touching this calamity, crisis, excitement, huge change. Goodness, tell me more about this fool. <laughs> It's funny when you say like, tell me more about this damn fool. Tell me more about this fool. This fool energy. Tell me more about the fool. Three of cups, look how it lands, right like that. Boom. Union, reunion, joy, celebration. Yeah, it's just so much energy here. King of Queen of Wands. Yes, there's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of charisma. Aries Leo Sag, but this is you, I feel, in this supercharged energy, knowing who you are and what your superpowers are, and you learn how to manage your weaknesses. I know I say it all the time with the Queen of Wands, but it's the truth. This is how you get to be so powerful and passionate in your life. You know your beauty. You know your worth. Anyone with this sort of confidence and depth of who you are is attractive is beautiful, will pull in energy towards you. Strength. Be Leo energy. Knowing your superpowers, managing your weaknesses. That's all they're going to give us. That's all they're going to get. That's all they're going to give us. Let's look at the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups energy. Knight of Cups energy. Nine of Pentacles that tried to flip over earlier, so they mean that energy to come out. Individual freedom. Self-reliance. Could be someone who's single. Allowing it to happen. Nine of Wands in the reverse. Allowing it to happen. Nines, nines energy, allowing this to come in. Oh my gosh, here we're doing it again with the nines. We did it with the fours. When does this stuff happen, you guys? This doesn't happen. So there is a rotation. It's a rotation. Allowing it, letting, letting your guards down, allowing the energies to come in. Something has opened up in the energies, in the grid lines, in the universe that are allowing the energies to come in. What was here before as a wall is no longer. There's something that is turning. The clock is turning. And here we have nines again. So we're at some kind of fulfillment here. <sighs> okay. I'm done yelling and hollering. This is exciting. I was not <laughs> expecting this. Ah, I'm going to move to the extended. I'm going to dig deeper into these energies and I know which energies I'm going to dig into. I'm going to dig into the Ace of Cups. I'm going to dig into the Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to dig into this King of Cups. Did I put the, oh, the Ace of Wands I put back? That's okay. I have so many energies here. <sighs> what am I going to dig into? What am I going to do? 
what am I going to do? Knight of Cups energy. What do I want to do? I'm going to go into the future too. So I'm going to start in March and I'll go March, April, May, June. Um, I'm, I'm saying the months, but I actually mean waves. I mean phases, phases of time, waves of energy. Step one, step two, step three. So I'm going to do five phases out in the extended, out into time. Um, so I have to, uh, I'll do the fool quickly. It doesn't hold as much energy. It just means, oh no, I'm not going to do that. We know what it means. The energy is clear. These are the energies I'm going to step into. These two aces, this king of cups and the knight of cups offer. And then I'll take this out into the future. All right, Virgo, this is exciting. This is exciting stuff. I will see you. Um, for those of you that are satisfied with this reading, that makes me really happy. This is an exciting, um, exciting reading. That's happy. I'm happy. Like, whew, I'm happy that you're happy with that. That makes me really fulfilled. For the rest of you that are wanting to dig deeper, um, feel free to go to the extended. The link for that is below. Thank you.